Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today we are talking Olight and not just any Olight, brand new products. So if you want to see what I think about these and uh, yeah, my, my uh, opinion, then come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So uh, currently, like as of right now, we are uh, about to click into like everybody's open to go buy stuff in an Olight cell. And if you are a, um, a certain tiered member, you probably already have access. Um, but I actually got these in advance and was able to put them to the test because they are some new items and I'm super stoked about that. I think that's pretty darn cool. And neither item is new to me. I wanna go ahead and say that, but this design is. So even though I haven't had these items long, I know what they are and I've used them. So we will start with the Otacle, Otacle. It's O-T-A-C-L-E. I prefer to call it the Otacle uh, or Otacle, like a little faster, not like there's a space, but I've also heard Otacle. So tomato, tomato, your choice is cool. Um, and these are in the sprinkle pattern, the donut pattern. And this is a pattern that I have not shown before because um, I am not big into pink, but this is actually pretty cool. I would not purchase these um, or items in this particular pattern regardless uh, any item knives are in this uh, flashlights pens etc etc uh, pouches not something that I would spend money on but I'm actually kind of excited to add these to the collection of gear that I do have I do like them a lot more than I thought I would and so uh, very excited to actually see these in person I would never have otherwise uh, these are definitely not something that I would have picked up, but I actually like them and am super stoked and I've actually been using the pen a whole lot. Uh, so this is their um, small uh, utility tool. The, the main job of this is as a utility knife. So you have a box cutter blade inside of there, um, but you also have a, a cap lifter here. So you can, you know, pop some bottles and then you have a little device right here on the end that can be used as a small pry tool. You can also use this as a driver. And then you have this little octagonal hole right here that might act as a bit driver. I actually haven't tried that out because I haven't looked at it yet, but it looks like you might be able to slide some quarter inch bits in there, which is a very cool feature. I have uh, this from their first run of it and I have it in OD green and it gets quite a bit of pocket carry and I will frequently throw it into uh, pouches as well. This one is the same thing. Uh, so you can see on the back here, we have the area where it sits and then right here, you can kind of see the indentions of a, um, on the frame of this for, the, for a circle. And so when you push this, it'll actually not lock into place right here, but it'll hold right here without moving and without depressing the button, it will slide in. So the way this works is you have this button here and when it is slid all the way back, just see if I can do this without putting my hand in the way, just pushing on it will open it. Now I like to depress and push and it slides a little easier in either direction. So I push down and then slide, but you don't have to, you literally can just push it and it will slide. So one feature that I like that they've added on this that was not on my OD green one is this lock feature. So right now we are in the unlocked position. And if I turn this 90 degrees, we are now in the locked position. And what this means is with this in the 90 degree section, this is not opening. It, the, the circle is turned, this bar is turned the wrong way and it will not slide into into the uh, activation point, which I really like. You're not gonna accidentally uh, slide this open in your pocket, which I have not had happen, but I've heard from others that it can. 
So this is the, the donut pattern, the sprinkle pattern with the lock feature here. And you can see the cool little design on the back as well. Really like this tool. I think it is an awesome one. And the pattern just kind of add, kind of adds a little fun, a little, uh, you know, sprinkle to your life. And if you're, you know, using this utility knife to open something out in public, you probably will get a second glance, but not because people are afraid of your knife, but because they're like, wait, what? Sprinkle? Okay, that's kind of cool. Like literally that's what they're gonna do. So there you go. That is the Otakle, the Otakle. I really like this tool. I use my green one all the time. And now I have a second one to add into the rotation. And I wouldn't be surprised if one of these gets relegated to my main bag and the other gets thrown in and out of pocket as needed. So excellent item right there. And then this is literally probably a top five Olight item for me. I love their i3T flashlights. That is no secret. It is my favorite flashlight, especially when throwing in a 10440 battery. Um, and then outside of that, I like several of their flashlights a whole lot. This pin, the O-Pin Glow, probably makes a top five list maybe even a top three list at times. And so what this pen offers is it has a bolt action, uh, bolt action right here. So down and over and back over and up. And so your pen, you can open your pen uh, using that, which is fabulous. This is not a thin pen. It has the capabilities to run a light, a laser and another light. And so this has some thickness to it, which when writing, I actually like. Like I, I actually like the thickness of this pen. Pocket carry and pens, I definitely prefer thin ones, but for the writing practice, something along this diameter is really nice, fits in the hand really well. So the features you're looking for are not the pen, but there they are. So with this, you wanna hear about the really cool features and what else this offers. So we have a little lens right there we have a little lens right there and then I'm not sure if you can see that there's a little magic happening in there so if you want to activate the laser your laser pointer comes out here and that is by pushing this up and now you have turned on the laser now here is something i highly recommend when you are in a meeting and you are taking notes just casually turn your laser on and start writing and see how many people start figuring out where the laser light is that is on the ceiling. It's hilarious. Granted, once they know who's doing it, you kind of you kind of lose the ability to play the game in the future, but it is a ton of fun the first time or if someone new comes in. So again, you have the, the bolt action for the pin. Instead of pushing down and over to depress a pin, just put the bolt, bolt action straight up and you activate the laser, which is an excellent feature. Again, push it up to release. Now, if you want your light to come on, you, you are pocket carrying it, which, hey, I got a pocket. So you're pocket carrying your light in your shirt pocket because you're cool and that's how you roll. Carhartt shirts have pockets for a reason. You might as well put a pin in it. So you have your pin in here and you want a little light aimed where you're going. Simply push down on the top and there's your light. You can push down again and turn it off. You can push it on and hold and it will get to a brighter mode. And then again, a brighter mode. So you have low, you have medium, and you have high. And they rotate through that as you hold it down wherever you let up is the mode you will be in. And turn it off and turn it back on. And it always starts in low mode, at least to, for what I can tell. So. And I believe you can, uh, I believe, uh, let's see here if I can get it. So you have moonlight mode, which is gonna be five lumens, and then you've got your low, your medium, and your high, 20 lumens, 60 lumens, high is 120 lumens for 14 minutes, and then it drops down to 60 lumens for 21. So uh, excellent features right there with the light. And then actually one of my favorite features is uh, when you depress the pin, when the pin is out, if you hold down the button to turn on your light, well, yeah, okay, so, come on, there we go. 
All right, so if you hold if you hold down the button to turn on your light, you will actually turn on the side light. But a quick click of the button and you turn on a light aimed at where you are writing, which I think is an absolutely brilliant feature. So uh, if you're doing a, a crossword puzzle or a word search puzzle at night while everybody's watching TV or in your bed and you don't wanna disturb everyone, simply use your open glow click on your little button and you are ready to rock and roll with some light exactly where you need it so i think that is a really cool feature and one thing to point out is when your pen is depressed that is not a feature that that will activate so it is only activated when your pen is out which makes sense because if your pen is out you don't need it and then this also comes with which i haven't removed yet i need to uh, so inside of the box here, you get your pen, you get uh, a spare um, ink, and then this is how you charge these. So the Open Glow is charged. I've actually just been using a charger I have because I have two Open Glows. This now makes my third. So I've been using my other one. But so you get this device right here, plugs in via USB-C, comes with the cable to do that. And so you set this on your desk or wherever, and you actually just drop your pen in and it will charge. And so this one is in the sprinkle pattern that the pen itself is in. It also comes with this little double-sided taped piece of metal, and this is actually magnetized. So you can set this somewhere and the, the um, your charging device will never fall over. Sometimes if it's not, you know, like, really held up really well you'll drop your pen in and it'll topple with this that is definitely not something you would have to worry about and so one thing i wanted to say on these was the uh, material on here you could see that um, these are actually just painted on onto the surface of this on here this is actually they machined in the sprinkle holes and then filled the holes in with paint so those are actually, when you run your finger over here, you fill each and every sprinkle because it's actually like a, a divot in the pen, which I absolutely love. So I think this is a gorgeous item right here. And I like that I now have a third charging thing. I have these everywhere. And I just think that looks, that looks amazing. So uh, definitely check out the sprinkle stuff. If you haven't been into it or you've been like, man, that is crazy. I feel ya, I'm with ya. Check out this open glow. I, I highly recommend this one. It is a it is a beautiful version of the sprinkle pattern. They nailed it. I love the indentions and the filled in paint there. And if you want to go a little lower cost and something that definitely um, tones down the fact that you're using a knife, although it is a utility knife, so who cares? But the sprinkle pattern here is awesome. And like I said, you're not going to raise any eyebrows for using a knife in public with this. You're just going to be like, man, that is different. That's cool. That's whatever. But uh, the attention you gain will not be fear with this. So definitely check out these items. I highly recommend it. I have a discount code linked below for Olight. You can save yourself 10% using the code. And uh, yeah, check out the sale going on. A lot of really cool stuff right now. And I don't, there's not much I don't recommend with Olight. So go check them out and try some products and let me know what you think. And thanks for hanging out with me. I will be back soon. And remember, EDC. EDC.